Ah, right, y'all. It's official. We made it to another great Saturday. Got to thank the Lord. Gonna see a bunch of fire cars here. I told you, we're coming almost every Saturday to South Hill see cars and coffee from now on. We're going every Thursday to Irwindale. Today, we also got our origins meet in Irwindale. So, we got a lot of new videos coming this year. We're about to just be straight hustling. So, I'm about to show you what cars we got and I'll get back to you on the field. I ain't gonna lie, this is pretty sick. We got the faded camo. So one thing about like this, every Saturday is literally like a movie here. The most fire cars and it's always packed with people like We got a lot of cars to go through today. We're here on time so won't be like last week where I was like 10 minutes before it ended. But let's dive in and see what we got. This car is like super super unwanted but still pretty sick i remember when i worked for lexus we were like the first people ever to throw a pair of rims on these so from the dealer they wanted us to throw a pair of volsons on one of these the first year it came out so we took the uh demo car and had us order volsons and throw it on this is how i would want to get them and i was actually at the actual lexus dealer in queens Sickest story ever. I got a picture. I'm gonna see if I can find it and insert it, but. If I'm not mistaken, it's literally the first one ever on rims. And now, a couple years later, nobody even wants these. And it's super overpriced, so. Clean E46s are so rare to come by, but they look so good, especially with these rims. Such to say, like, every pair of E46s have those Apexes, but this is sick. Manual, and they got the Recaros to match perfectly with the back. Yeah, I love these. I really like E36s, but these are sick too, I'm not going to lie. Probably as crispy of an RX-7 you're gonna find. Done right, he got the over fender on the back too. I ain't gonna lie, his fitment is elite though. Look at that. Even the back is done right. He got the little mini mirrors. This car is sick. The fitment back there. Gotta be one of the sickest cars you could get from the 90s from Japan. This is on bags too. Could be wrong, but see a little air tank back here, so probably bag. Now I ain't sure exactly what car it is. I'm sure it's not a GTR. It's one of those GTT sedans, but with the whole wide body kit fitted right, this car actually looks pretty, pretty aggressive, bro. Y'all let me know how you feel about it, but for sale. We want twenty-two thousand. Right hand drive, pre wide body kit. This is pretty sick, though, I ain't gonna lie. If I'm not mistaken, this is a, see if I can get it right. Ah, uh, fuck, I don't even know. I'm gonna say R32 GTT. Yeah, let me know if I'm wrong. I'm just getting out warmed up because that's like the Mickey Mouse kid side, feel me? That ain't real where the big dogs is at. We're going to check the rest of this little Mickey Mouse lot and then we out over there to the big dog side where all the fire cars is at. So just stay tuned. I'm going to get you over there. Just double checking right now. I don't care what people say about this right here. This got to be one of the sickest and most legendary color combos in BMW history. Whenever you see this green and the gold, you literally already know it's the CS M5. 
Uh, he's a legendary, and this goes for big money. How much they wanted? 150,000. Living on 500 and above, y'all. I'm sure he got taxed with plus that, so it's probably almost 200. This is sick, huh? Pretty out of this car is literally a showstopper. Look how many people stopped, cameras is out, and it doesn't even look that crazy. Still got the dealer plates and all that. Now this is why I usually wait to this side to show you all the heat, because this is where it's all at. So we're going to start it off light, and I don't even think that's light. Got the whole center here. With the GT3 next to it. This is an older GT3 though, but still. But the center? I love it. I might get another here. What is that, like a million and a half, two million? Gotta be one of the best spec Robbins is out. Now, I'm not being biased because it's Lardo, but do you see the little pinstripes with the emblem? And the whole interior to match. This just might be. And it got the full turbo kit. This has got to be one of the sickest G Wagons we've seen on the channel. These are definitely going down in history. Very important to the car game in general with technology and power. But I just don't know how I feel about it. It looks cool. See the engine straight through. Besides that, I don't really like this car. Just gonna be honest. Might be the only time we ever seen this one right here. It's gotta be the girthiest RX-7 we've seen to date. This motherfucker is wide. With that shit. And it like, got like a slant nose. This reminds me of, what is it, 959 Porsches with the slant nose, but this just looks sick. One of one RX-7 for sure. Might never see another one like this. Might be one of the best spec GT3 RSs we've seen yet. All of them been white with the blue. White with the red. The wing is just sick. When mine comes, we're lifting it to it. Big boy at that. Still got the dealer plates. So we're gonna lift it to here. Got to be one of the top Lamborghini colors you can get. All the other ones are pretty cool, but this one right here, slime green, got to be the toughest out. Crazy part about all that, that was just one side. So we still got a whole nother side of the heat. And to start off that heat, it's only right to show one of the pioneers of all this. One of the most fire cars you have on the channel is... The real life DD McLaren. This car is so sick. Can't even believe it. Looks crazy in real life, but still, definitely got to be a huge accomplishment for them. It's sick. It's like glass down there. Big wing on the back. Got the tri muffler. This car is insane. Ay, mira un troquita. Yeah, no joke. Get a troquita or not? This motherfucking clean, man. I ain't gonna lie, I like this colorway. This is sick. Un troquita. These Ferraris are heavily slept on. What is it, though? 430? Drop? These aren't doing too much money now. These are good to get. And I think they have a lot of each well. They might. I don't know, but this is sick. 458, could be wrong, could be the 488. I don't really like Ferraris, I ain't gonna lie. It's not, the body lines aren't too excessive for me. I'd rather have a Lamb. I still don't understand why Aston Martins are like one of the most depreciating cars. 
Because they do literally look so badass. You cannot be mad. And this is an F1 edition. I don't even know what that means. This is sick though. Got like the baby blue with the carbon. This is badass. Might be the first cyber truck we've seen wrapped and everything already. Got the big wheels. That's pretty savage, I ain't gonna lie. It's a cool looking car. Gotta be one of the toughest cars you can get. Probably. I ain't gonna lie. The old presence is insane. got to be one of the most best, calmest looking Porsches you're going to find. I don't know if it's the color combo that makes it perfect, the tint, but this is like one of the most cleanest GT3s you're going to see. This is sick. No badging on it, no stickers, no nothing. Now since you got the new GT3 RSs here, the regular GT3, these really were looked over and no one even really cared about it. This still got to be one of the sickest Porsches to come out in the recent years. GT4 RS, which is not a 911. This is a Cayman, but this is sick. And all I've heard is good things about them. Instead of being rear engine, these are mid engine, so the engine is literally in the middle. But supposedly the driving experience on these is insane. Some people like it better than the actual 911, so that's pretty sick. I don't know how I managed to let this happen. A bunch of older legend cars went right past my eye. I didn't even see them in the parking lot. I didn't see all the flavors they had. So I had to come show love before we get up out of here because everybody's leaving. So before these leave, show you this. Crazy chrome rims by on the Supra. I love the blue, though, I ain't gonna lie. Is it automatic? Yes, it is. 15th anniversary. Still pretty sick, but the automatic part kind of kills it. The only thing about that one was it wasn't the only one. We got another one here. I like how the Supra's roof come off. I don't know why the new ones didn't do that with it. They definitely should have, but this is sick. Got the work VS wheels. There's another Supra I was trying to show you before he left. This sounds sick. We've definitely seen this one on the channel before, but this has had non-stop love since it got here. I don't know what kind of car it is. I remember we've seen it before. It's the SLC. See the back of his shirt. This is sick though. He's talking some business here, so he's going to scoot on by. Doo -doo -doo. Look at the big ass wing on there. But yeah, look, it has been non-stop getting love. I can barely even get near it. Ah, right, y'all, that's gonna do it for this one, man. We've seen a whole lot of cars. We even seen DDE today. It's been a great one. We made it here nice and early. Like I already said, we're gonna be back harder this year. Way more videos. So stay tuned, cause we basically here every Saturday. We got another meet later today at Origins. We're gonna split that into another video. You already know. Oh my. I'm trying to talk here, buddy. Kind of fire, but kind of a junk box, too. But yeah, you already know. Like, comment, subscribe. We're going to catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.
I ain't gonna lie, this is pretty sick. We got the faded camo. 